What's up guys, Gary here with self.dev. Today we are gonna learn how to install Stable Diffusion's web UI so you can generate beautiful AI images like this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. So let's get going. First thing, look in the description and I will have a link to Stable Diffusion web UI, the repository, because we are going to need to clone this from GitHub. So we're gonna go down to automatic installation for Windows. And there are two pieces of software we are going to need to install. If you've already got Python and Git, you can go ahead and skip this step if you've got the correct version. Uh, if not, make sure you get the correct version because there are versions that are incompatible with this and it'll throw errors when you start to run it. Um, it's just safer if you get the version they have in the repository here. If what's here is different from what's in the video, get the one that's here because this is the one that's gonna be compatible. So we're gonna open up Python 3.10.6 or whatever version it says for you. We'll go down to the bottom here and we are going to get the Windows installer 64-bit. Now we need Python because Python's what Stable Diffusion runs on. Once that's downloaded, we will install it. So we'll just open that. Um, I've already got Python installed, so mine is going to look a little bit different than yours. The big thing you wanna make sure you do is there's going to be a checkbox that says add Python to path. Make sure you tick that checkbox because we want to add Python to the path. If you don't tick that checkbox, this is not gonna work. So big thing is just tick that checkbox and then install Python and you should be good. After that's done, we want to install Git. So pause this video so you can install Python, then come back. Um, after you're back, we're going to open up Git here. We're going to do the 64-bit Git for Windows setup. Make sure you use the standalone installer, not the portable thumb drive edition. We'll click that, download it. Once that's downloaded, you can click it and install it. There's nothing you need to change in there. Just click next on everything and install it like you would any other software. Once you've got that installed, I've already got that installed, so I'm not gonna run through that. Uh, we need to clone the repository. So if you are a developer and you know how to do that, just copy this command um, or git clone the repository wherever you wanna do it. Um, I'm going to open up bash so you're gonna open up your terminal. You're going to change directory to wherever you want to put this. Um, if you just wanna do CD documents, then that'll bring you to your documents. I'm gonna put it in GitHub. You're probably not gonna have a GitHub folder, so you might just wanna leave it in documents, but then we're going to paste the command here and then press enter and that will clone the repository from GitHub to your local computer so you have stable diffusion on your local computer. Shouldn't take too long depending on your internet connection. But once it says done, we have stable diffusion on our computer. So the next thing we need to do is get a checkpoint for stable diffusion. Checkpoints are large data sets that the software is tra trained on. The one I like to use is Cyber Realistic. I will have this linked in the description so you can go grab this as well. All you need to do is click on the download button. It's a pretty big file, it's two gigabytes. Most checkpoints are rather large, but go ahead and download that. If you want to use another checkpoint, you are welcome to browse this site and find another checkpoint that looks good to you. Just make sure it is a safe tensor and a checkpoint merge. There are different types of files on here. There are laurels, there are textual inversions. There's a bunch of other stuff we're not gonna get into in this video, um, but you do need a base checkpoint to start with. And then again, make sure it's a safe tensor file that's just safer files to use. Now, once that's downloaded, you're going to navigate to wherever you put Stable Diffusion Web UI. So if it's in Documents, you should be able to just go to Documents and find Stable Diffusion Web UI and go inside there. We're going to go inside Models, Stable Diffusion, and then we're going to put the checkpoint here. So it, you downloaded it, go to Downloads, copy the checkpoint, paste it in here. After it's in here, we should be good to go. So we're gonna go back to the stable diffusion web UI, the root of the directory. We're gonna go down to web, use, web ui userbat and double click that. It should open up command prompt 
and this is the first time we're running it so it might take a little while but it's going to install some new stuff so just pause this video and wait till that installation is finished after you see this running on local URL line pop up, it's pretty much done. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy that or actually just move that over to the side here and then type that into our browser. So HTTP colon slash slash 127. Uh, that's your local host URL and that's where Stable Diffusion is running. Now mine did get hung up on cloning Stable Diffusion uh, stable Diffusion Stability AI. So if yours gets hung up there for maybe five, 10 minutes, press Control C to terminate the job and then uh, run the web UI user dot BAT again, and it should get past that step. Uh, just a little troubleshooting tip. But after that's done, we got Stable Diffusion running locally. So this is our checkpoint, Cyber Realistic V21. Now what we've got here is the prompt. So we've got a positive prompt and a negative prompt. The positive prompt is going to be what you want in the image. The negative prompt is going to be things you don't want in the image. So let's go to Cyber Realistic here and all of these images, if you click on any of them, will give you the prompt they used. So we'll click on this. And then over on the side here, we can scroll down and we can see the prompt here. Now we're not gonna get into the art of creating prompts on this. We're just gonna get you to where you can generate your first image. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to go back to Stable Diffusion and paste that into the prompt here. This Laurel, we're going to remove because we don't have that. So there's checkpoints, which is this cyber realistic. And then there's Laurels. Those are smaller training sets to get a specific version of an image you want. Uh, we're not gonna get too deep into that in this one. So we're just gonna take that out of our prompt here. And then the sampler, we can see they're using DPM++. So over here is sampling method. You'll have to play around with all of these to figure out which ones you like best, but we're gonna stick with what they're using in the image we want to create here. And then we see they're using cyber realistic. Um, most of this other stuff we're gonna ignore for now. We've got our prompt, we've got the sampling method we want, and we're gonna click generate. And depending on your GPU, um, the power, how much RAM it has, all of that is going to determine how fast it generates that image. And then we can see after about four or five seconds, we get this image of a cat. Um, it's not exactly what they had here, because we're not using the Laurel and a other exact stuff, but it is like a magic looking cat. So kind of cool little image, um, but you can try that with any of the images they have here. You could copy this prompt. Um, you could copy this one, this one, or this one, and it should give you a similar looking image. But that is about it for this one. You've got Stable Diffusion running locally. And so anytime you want to run Stable Diffusion, you'll need to go back to that directory, run the web UI user .bat file. Um, and then you should be good to go. So if you learned something in this video, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing, I'm doing good stuff. And I know this helps you guys out. If you got any comments, questions, concerns, run into any problems, let me know in the comments below or come hop in Discord. I'll have a link to that in the description. You can come ask questions there. Um, and I think that's about it for this one. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. One.